Astra is a worldwide leading manufacturer of terminals, systems, and applications for building and accessing communication networks. Astra is committed to open standards-based solutions that work with not only their own IP communication systems, but those of other manufacturers. Astra's full family of phones are cost-effective, enterprise-grade IP telephones that have been designed for interoperability, upgradeability, and ease of use. Welcome to this lesson on the Astra SIP Terminals Hardware Overview 6750i series. This is a multi-part lesson on the hardware overview for the following SIP terminals. The 6700i series of telephones and expansion modules, the 9000i series of telephones, the DEC 600D series, the DEC 142, and the MBU 400 and 420D. As we go through each series of SIP terminals, we'll look at their capabilities, features, and specifications. We'll start with the 6700i series of SIP terminals, which is made up of the 6730 series, the 6750 series, and two expansion modules. We'll look at the 6750 series of phones first. When you order one of these Astra SIP telephones, inside the box you'll find the telephone, a handset, a handset cord, a power cord, an Ethernet cable, telephone based legs, a wall mounting kit, and a user guide. The 6750 series of SIP terminals have a very similar button and dial pad configuration. I'll use the 6757i to demonstrate the button location and their functions. In the top left is the goodbye key. The goodbye key is used to hang up a telephone call. It can also be used to exit a variety of menus displayed on the LCD screen. The options key is used to access the options menu. I'll go into more detail on the options menu in a later module. The phones have a hold key and a redial key. The volume adjustment keys adjust the volume for your handset, headset, speakerphone, and ringer. There's left and right and up and down arrow keys that can be used to navigate various menus. I'll demonstrate using the arrow keys later in the training. Astra SIP terminals use a standard dial pad. There are hard keys for your lines. The number of hard keys on the phone vary based upon the model. There's a speaker, headset, and handset toggle key. And a mute key. Now let's look at the connectors on the back. And again, I'll use the 6757i to demonstrate these connectors. On the back of the 6750i series of phones are two Ethernet connectors and a power connector. The two Ethernet connectors both support 10100 megabit Ethernet connections. If your company provides inline power or power over Ethernet, you will not need to use the power adapter. This is because your phone is getting the power from the Ethernet connection. All 6750i series of phones support power over Ethernet. Notice the two Ethernet connectors are labeled LAN and PC. The LAN connector must be connected to your network. This is the connector that will give your phone telephone service. I'll talk about the PC connector in just a minute. I just talked about power over Ethernet, but if your company does not provide power over Ethernet, then you'll need to use the power adapter. Plug one end into the phone and the other into an AC outlet. Now let's talk about the PC connector. These phones have a built-in Ethernet switch. This means you can share a single network connection with your phone and your PC. This can be very helpful if there's only one network connection in your area. With the main network connection plugged into the LAN connector, then a second cable is used to connect your phone's PC jack to your computer's Ethernet card or connector. This way, with no additional equipment, you can share one network connection with both your phone and your computer. Now let's turn the phone over and look at the bottom of the phone. The first thing we'll look at is how to attach the legs. The legs can be positioned in four ways. You can use the two front slots or the two back slots to change the angle of the phone. 
You can also turn the legs around 180 degrees. This will give you two additional angles for changing the height of the phone. To attach the legs, insert the hooks on the rounded side of the leg first, then tilt towards the phone and the other two hooks will snap into place. To remove the leg, gently press at the base, releasing the two hooks that just snapped into place. Then tilt the leg back and remove. There are three connectors, or jacks, on the bottom of the phone. The first connector is a headset connector. The headset feature is supported by all models in the 6750 series of phones. The icon next to the jack looks like a headset in earphones. Now this connector is only for a headset. The next connector is the handset connector. Plug the standard handset and cord that came with this phone into this connector. One word of caution, do not try to plug a headset into this handset connector. It will not work. The next connector is for use with an expansion module. There is a cover you will need to remove to expose the expansion module jack. All of the 6750 series of phones support this option. Each connector has tracks or grooves next to it. Be sure to route each cable or cord in the appropriate track. This will keep each cable and connection secure. Let's take a detailed look at the two expansion modules. They are the M670i and the M675i. The M670i expansion module is compatible with the 6753i, 55i, 57i, and 57i CT. It has 36 keys with LED and uses paper strip labeling. The M675i expansion module is compatible with the 6755i, 57i, and 57i CT. It has 60 keys with LED and uses an LCD screen with backlit display. You can have up to three expansion modules connected per phone. The expansion modules get the power directly from the phone through the expansion module connector. No external power is needed. All of the keys on the expansion module are programmable. So anything you can program on your phone, you can program on an expansion module key. One quick note, you can only have a maximum of 50 BLF keys, or busy lamp field keys, programmed per phone. Both of the expansion modules have an overlay bracket. The overlay bracket is used to mount the expansion module onto the phone. Also notice the cable on the expansion module. This is the cable that will plug in to the expansion module connector on the phone. Now let's look at how to connect an expansion module to the phone. This is a close-up view with the expansion module on the left and the phone on the right. The first thing that I'll do is to plug the expansion module's cable into the phone's expansion module connector. Then I'll route the cable in the track. Next, I'll align the holes on the expansion module's overlay bracket to the holes on the phone. I'll use the two screws that came with the expansion module to attach the expansion module to the phone. Then I'll attach the leg to the expansion module. Now let's take a quick look at each phone in the 6750i series. The last thing that I want to talk about in the 6750 series of phones is the mobility option offered by the 6757i CT phone. The base phone and cordless handset each have a wireless transceiver and antenna that's integrated into each phone. They use a WDEC 2.4 GHz frequency that's ISM band compliant and license free. The WDEC link is from the cordless handset to the desktop base phone and it is SIP from the desktop base phone outward over the IP network. The cordless handsets have roughly a 300,000 square foot coverage area. That's about 100 yards from the base unit. 
The cordless handsets support intercom, a headset, vibrating alert, a backlit keypad and LCD screen, and 15 programmable function keys. You can have up to four handsets paired with one base unit. Together they can support up to two simultaneous calls, one on the base unit and one on the cordless handset. While you can have up to four handsets paired with the base unit, there is only one talk path between the cordless handsets and the base unit. That means only one active call between the handset and the base unit at any one time. When you are setting up a wireless environment, the general rule of thumb is that for every 15 to 20 cubicles, you should have no more than eight active cordless handsets. The cordless handset piece of the 6757i CT is made up of a power adapter, a base or charging cradle, a battery, the cordless telephone, and a belt clip. The power cord has a modular connector that plugs into the bottom of the charging cradle. When you receive your cordless handset, you'll have to plug in the battery. This is a simple enough task, and the connector only fits one way. Just make sure that the ridge or key on the connector faces towards the top of the phone. Then slide the battery into place and slide on the back cover. The last thing that you may want to add is the belt clip. Line the belt clip up with the two notches on the phone and then press down. The belt clip should snap into place. That's a look at the 6750i series of phones and two expansion modules. Now let's look at a comparison chart where I'll highlight and review some of the features that we've seen in the 6750i series of phones. In the first row, you can see that all of the 6750i series of phones can all support up to nine lines. This is done by using the hard-coded line keys and programmable keys. The next two rows work in conjunction with each other. The first row shows the total number of programmable keys per phone. The next row shows the number of hard keys on the left and the number of soft keys on the right. The difference between a hard key and a soft key is that a hard key has a specific function or feature programmed to that button, while a soft key works in conjunction with the LCD screen and can actually change based upon the call state. For example, if you're on hook, it may be a speed dial key. While you're on a call, it may be a transfer or a call park. The next two rows show the expansion modules each phone is compatible with. And remember, there's a maximum of three expansion modules per phone. All of the 6750i series of phones support power over ethernet and have a built-in XML browser. And on the last row, the only phone in the 6750 series that supports the cordless handset is the 6757i CT phone, which can support four cordless handsets per base phone. In this lesson of the AstroSIP Terminals Hardware Overview 6750i series, we took a detailed look at the hardware and specifications for the 6750i series of phones, which included the 6753i, the 6755i, the 6757i, and the 6757i CT phone, which gave us the mobility option. In addition, we also looked at the two expansion modules, the M670i and the M675i. For more information on the 6750i series of phones and the expansion modules, go to www.astrausa.com.